everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elaine Yaman, and as you can tell by today's title, I'm going to show you guys how you can create some Instagram posts using InDesign. So without further ado, I'm kind of just going to jump right into it here. I'm just going to go down to the InDesign app that I have here, and on the left hand side you're going to see a button that says create new. And we are going to do that. And I already have a preset for the Instagram, but just to show you guys, you're actually going to come over here and it says inches and that's just 15 by 15 is what they recommend but usually I just go with pixels and when you're creating an Instagram post it's going to be 1080 by 1080 pixels down here is the number of pages or how many posts you want to create let's just say we're gonna create one for right now and you're gonna wanna undo facing pages and then hit create Okay, so this is the main layout that you're going to see right now. Obviously, it's blank. We haven't done anything yet. What I'm going to do is just simply place a file. You're going to want to hit Command D to place the file, and this just brings up the prompt asking where you want to pull the file from. I am just going to use this cactus picture, and you simply have to click, and it will show up on your board here. Now, just make sure that this blue little frame here just make sure it's you know covering the whole board it doesn't really matter if it goes off the board or not just want to make sure it goes at least covering the full board now you can see this picture isn't going quite to the top it might be big enough but the way you can move this around is if you double click inside the frame and then you can just make this bigger here and I'm actually going to have the cactus fill the entire board I think we'll go right about there. Yeah, I definitely like that better. And I don't know how well you guys are able to tell, but this image looks like it's pretty pixelated. And the reason why this happens is because InDesign is just trying to run as quickly and efficiently as possible. And the higher quality of the photo, obviously, the harder it has to work to read. Now, personally, I want everything to look exactly like it's going to when I'm all, all done with the project. So, you're going to right click. Come down here to display performance and click high quality display and then your picture should show up all nice and clear again. So the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the left hand side, click type tool and I'm going to click and drag. And now once you have that done you're going to go over to your character toolbar that looks like this. If you don't have it up on your screen don't worry about it, just go up here to the bar, menu bar, click window go down to type and tables and click character once you click it it should just pop up somewhere on your screen and you are good to go so the first thing I'm going to do is select what kind of typeface that I want and I am going to pick hello sunshine marker and I'm gonna come down here and this is a text size I'm just gonna go with 200 points just to start out with here and now you can just go ahead and type and let's see here And obviously it's very hard to read, so I want to change the color of the text. So now you're going to do the same thing, and you're going to come over to the left hand side here. Right now it's on a fill color, so if you choose to make this a color, it'll fill in the entire area that you have in your text frame. So for example, you'll get that, and that's not what we want. So we're going to undo, which is Command Z, and we want to make sure we have this T clicked. Then we can click on here, and I want white, and so we're going to click OK, and your text will show up white. Now the next thing I'm going to do is copy and paste this, because I have another word that I want to put on, and so I'm going to hit Option, and then click and drag, and now you have two of these. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here, click, and find the text frame. I'm going to double click on each of the corners here. And that just fits the frame to the words that you're using. I'm going to double click this. And I'm going to write my last word here. And then I'm going to line them up. You can see this green guide on the left hand side makes it easy. And I'm going to click Command and Shift. Click on a corner and drag. And I'm going to drag to be the same width as that top area. So now we're getting pretty close here. I like the typeface. I like how this is looking. I'm going to want this in the middle eventually. And now that this is in the middle, uh, you can definitely tell that this isn't completed yet because it's very difficult to read. 
So I'm going to come over to the left hand side, select this rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a little box here. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to give it a fill color. And I'm actually just going to do white and make the opacity, let's just say 85 sounds good. So once you do that, you're going to want to click the type because I'm actually going to change the color. But if you do that, as you can tell, you're just clicking the box because it's on top. Now in order to arrange your objects and whatnot, you're going to click command and use the brackets. Now the left bracket is going to make things go behind and the right bracket is going to put things on top. So we want this box to go behind, so we're going to use the left bracket. So you'll click that until it's behind, but not behind everything. So now if you hit V, that's just a shortcut and that's going to bring you back your little cursor there. So now as you can see, we can click our type and we're going to go over here, make sure we're clicking the T again. And we are going to give it a different color. I like this color here. So we're going to go with that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that everything is going to be perfectly centered. And I want to have everything aligned. So in order to do that, you're going to go to your Align Tools, which I don't have out right now. So I'm going to go up to Window. And then I'm going down to Object and Layout. Click Align. And that pops up here. I'm just going to put this under. Okay, so now I'm going to click my box and I'm going to click this align horizontal centers and I'm also going to click the vertical centers. And you want to make sure that this is aligning to the page and not the selection and this will put it perfectly in the middle for you. And so now I'm going to choose kind of how far away I want these to be as well. So I think that's probably a good distance. So I'm going to highlight both of them and I'm going to click right click and hit group. And now no matter what, these are going to be together. And I am going to also do the same thing for these with the align. And now those are perfectly aligned as well. And now just a little trick here. You can just take your shapes and just kind of go like this and line everything up. And this just helps me to just visually see if everything is lined up correctly. I'm just going to give it a color so it's easier to see for you guys. And so we're going to go like this. And as you can tell, if you double click, you can also go back into your specific frame here. I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. So I'm actually going to end up making this a smidgen bigger. Okay, and so again we're making sure this is in the middle here. Now I'm going to rotate it and make sure there is the same amount on top and bottom. And then I'm actually going to make this a smidgen bigger. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to click and make sure both of these are going to be grouped. And then I'm going to align. And you are golden. That's kind of what I've been doing for my post. And that's all I have for you guys today. So thanks for stopping by and please smash that like button if you learned a little something. And if you'd like to see more videos and tutorials in the future, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.